Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. Welcome, 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 new subscribers. I love you guys and I thank you and I truly appreciate you. Y'all, I'm almost at that 10,000. And remember, I'm going to be doing free readings for a whole week, okay? Just to show you guys my appreciation, okay? Um, we are doing a general reading for Leo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the second week of November 2021 or whenever you guys see the video, okay? Leo, I've already shuffled, shuffled sage, prayed over your cards. Let's get you some overall energies. What do we have for Leo? First thing hot out. Heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. So it looks like you guys are meeting someone new, okay? Maybe there's a good possibility that would that you broke up with someone. Universe is wanting you to open up your heart now. You're ready for love. You are lovable, Leo. You deserve love, Leo. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we got paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So yeah, you could be, you could be dating someone new. And look at this, Cupid's arrow, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Go for it, okay? Go for it. You deserve love, Leo. You deserve love. Um. So it looks like you guys are meetings. Have met someone new that you're kind of interested in. Go for it, Leo. You deserve love. And you're ready, even if you think you're not. You're ready, okay? You're ready for love. You are ready for love, Leo, okay? Let's see what the situation is here. What is the situation, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, for Leo? What is the situation? Okay, what we got? Something flew out. The Six of Wands. This is you getting attention. This is you being recognized. Um, this is success. I don't know why my camera went dark. Anyway, what else we have for Leo? The moon card. So there could be something that you don't know about as of yet. Give me some more information. It could be somebody spying on you too. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, new love. Some of you guys have met someone new. This could also represent a reconciliation. And then we have the Star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Leo, Sag, Aries like yourself, but somebody's hoping and wishing. Somebody wants to heal something here with you. Or maybe you want to heal something with someone. I don't know. Give me one more card for Leo. The death card. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let me move these up so you guys can see all of the cards. So like I see it, you've ended something with someone. And I think you're trying to you're you're healing. You are healing from an ending here. You're trying you're getting yourself balanced. You definitely get an attention here, Leo. You've met someone new that you're kind of very interested in. Mmm, let's see. The magician. So you're manifesting the things that you want. Mm. 
Looks like you're going to get a soul. It looks like a soulmate is coming towards you. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. Where's the Six of Wands here for Leo? Mm. The Page of Swords. So, are you spying on someone, Leo? Or maybe someone's spying on you? Mm, judgment. Leo, this Ace of Cups can also represent a second chance. Okay? Someone here is secretly in love with someone that they want a second chance with. And they're hoping and wishing and praying that something doesn't end. Somebody's hoping and wishing and praying that something doesn't end. Possibly with a Scorpio. Wow. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, God. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Hmm. We have the, um, okay, so the Knight of Cups, I mean, yeah, the Knight of Cups. Someone secretly wants to apologize to someone. But we got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is sneaky behavior. This is a cheater, a liar. Ooh, so, so, so this could have been going on in a marriage. A lot of cheating and lying. Someone could have been investing in a situation and getting nothing out of it. And someone decided that they wanted to be single. Someone definitely could have taken a step back from a situation because they weren't emotionally fulfilled. Universe had offered somebody love here. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or someone that has Aquarius in their chart. Leo, listen to Aquarius video because it was deep, okay? If any of y'all dealing with an Aquarius, listen to Aquarius video. I just did it. It was deep. It was deep. Temperance. Someone definitely wants to balance things out with you, Leo. Or maybe this is how you're feeling about someone, okay? Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Tower. So something did unexpected happen. In a love situation here. Why is the tower here with the ace of cups? Somebody is definitely watching somebody like a hawk. Why is the tower here? The will of fortune. We have the princess of swords in the reverse. Could have been a lot of pettiness going on here. Um, gossiping. We got the Queen of Wands, which could be your energy, or this could be someone that someone could have been seen on the side. Just saying. Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands? Is this Leo or is this Leo person? Who is the Queen of Wands? Yep. Somebody was seeing somebody on the side. Six of Pentacles popped off, okay? This is given to two people. This is given to two people. This is why this tower went off. And the Ten of Wands is here too. Something was a burden here. That's why somebody ended something. You were definitely dealing with your Divine Masculine or your Divine Feminine, Leo. This is possibly why you are having trouble letting someone go. There's a very strong spiritual connection here with someone. And this person is possibly has you blocked. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Yeah. Yeah. Something ended because someone is very shady. Y'all saw the seven of swords come out at the bottom of the deck. And here it is. That's why somebody ended something. 
because something was, somebody was very manipulative. They played, they like to play too many mind games. They was a liar, a cheater, all of it, okay? Listen, I have to go because I don't want this to shut off and I want y'all to see it. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.